Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to MK Community Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. I'm in this video. I'm going to explain to you about some of the uh, code cover letter sheets and in ENO uh, insurance and documents and everything. So let's get started. So this is from Motion General Agency. This is what the code cover letter sheet should look like. Make sure your brokerage name, your uh, insurance name, whoever you're insuring with, under underwriter, obviously the carrier they're using. Uh, make sure it's correct. Motion General Agencies. Uh, every insurance carrier has their own percentage of commission. For example, this will tell you there's a 10% commission in ENO if you if you do ENO for other people. Obviously, when you get the coverage, you get 10% of the commission of it. Uh, the total primary premium and everything else. Uh, that's what one of the co uh, this is what the code cover letter should look like. Uh, this is the second part as well. Uh, this is a different thing. As you can see, this is all for ENO, but the amounts are a little bit different than compared to the one that you've seen before. So each ENO coverage is a little bit different depending on the insured's. Uh, record uh, how new they are how well in the business how book of business they are the more they have uh, carriers with them meaning the more premium they have uh, the more expensive the ENO do does end up becoming this is the sample application I'm gonna have different parts of this because it's a, it's a lot of uh, information so this is gonna be part one I was gonna I'm gonna do at least 10 uh, 10 pages at a time because it will be too many if I end up going towards today so this is an application for ENO package. They give you an insurance package. It's always good to read through it. Make sure everything is correct. Have all the information uh, you understand. You know what they're giving you, obviously, because if you're a broker agent, if you're brand new, you want to understand what ENO is and how well they get covered. So well, this is the one of the codes cover letter. Uh, whatever the payable interest is going to be, obviously errors and emissions, cyber liability. Uh, cyber liability is if you're a brand new broker or an agent, you don't really need it. Uh, meaning that cyber liability is like somebody hacking your computer and steals your information, customers' information, and they use it against you. The customers could come back at you and sue you because you didn't protect the information. But if you're a brand new broker or an agent, I doubt anyone's gonna come after you. So it's an option. I don't uh, recommend you have it as a brand new broker or an agent. Now, if you're old, if you have a big record, then obviously you need it. But if you're a person, if you don't even have one client, then there's no point of getting that. But it's up to you again. If you if you think you need if you think you might get hacked, or might get information get stolen, then it's always best to be in the safe side. So this is the business activity, uh, insurance agent, legal action, worldwide. Obviously over here, payment, premium payment clause, subsidy condition clause. Obviously this is endorsement, subjectivities over here, policy period. This is for one year. Obviously the date of issue. Make sure you know that part as well. Obviously this is one part of it. Again, the policy number should be over here. Unique market reference in short. Address over here. Obviously, these are some of the information they give you the, the underwriters and whatever it is. Uh, the inception date, obviously, the expiry date. Total payable. So, you know, as dollar breakdown as follows. Uh, they, they basically break it down to show you choice of laws. New York, obviously, if you, whatever state you are, this is going to be getting it. Uh, claims manager, the CFC underwriting limited. Uh, wording is E I E A. Uh, insuring clause errors and emission again limited liability is a million dollars aggregate limited liability is a million dollars deductible obviously whatever you chose and commercial property this is, you didn't have it business interruption these are some of the options if you add up they will charge you more money but it's up, up to you whatever you want insuring clause six migration deductible again insuring clause seven reputation and brand protection again over here th these are all options if you some are included some are optional that depends Again, court attendance costs, loss mitigation, repetition and brand protection. Uh, uh, obviously, it's a policy number again, insured with effect. Uh, I did tell you about the, you know, again, CFC underwriting, what they are, how it affects premium. Uh, this is in, in, in needed to agree the condition, the utility and condition rules and regulation that once they make, uh, you know, with you how, how they work and everything. Uh, again, this is understand, agree that they give you the, the their word, how they're going to be. I mean, this is some of the things you can read through on your own as well. Attaching to policy number, again, the underwriter, the insured, effective date, aggregate limit of liability. This is this, this is a deductible, obviously. A deductible is option. I mean, you, the, the higher the deductible, the lower the premium. So, obviously, if you have lower deductible, the premium is going to get higher. But, again, it's up to you how well you want to do it. System of average period. Uh, three months, some like twelve months, ten hours. Again, the the following insured clause added to the policy section A, B, and F. These are some of the things you can read: the cyber liability section A, privacy liability, 
privacy, uh, privacy breach notification costs, system damage, system business interruption. These are some of the things if you want it, you can have it on your coverage as an endorsement. If not, you don't, you don't need it. It's up to you. Regular inaction and investigation, cyber threats and extortion. Um, obviously, definition. It, it, it's better to read through it. Again, if you want to read through it one bit by bit, it's always best to read through it uh, to see w what they're covering you, what they're giving you. I mean, it doesn't hurt to read security breach. Obviously, means an actual or suspected breach of the data security where information is un unintentionally revealed by other than electronic means and informal matter. Again, the viruses as well. Sometimes the uh, you know the viruses in the computer they get to hack into your information and sell your clients information. You don't want that. Uh, I'm just going to start over here for part one of the video. Um, I'm not going to go over every bit of it because it's a lot of information to go over. But I, I'm going to try my best to go over whatever I think is important information in this video. Uh, thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, comment, concern, please comment, like, subscribe to my video. I'll be having more of the educational informational videos coming up. Thank you again for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it.